So you watch, you listen, and hopefully you learn. Because Listen to Black Men starts now. It seems that your juice is hitting. Everybody's juice is hitting today. The juice is so good. Best apple juice I ever had. There she go. What's there up? She... Hey, Jesse. <laughs> you don't sound excited. I am. I'm I am. always. We, Jesse, how are you? We was talking. I'm doing great. So half of you guys are dads here. Can y'all speak to me on why it be a lot of daddies, but not a lot of commitment? Mm. Commitment to the baby? Commitment to the mama. Oh. oh, maybe y'all can speak to that. Just in general, what do you think is going on? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Now look, Dave, Dave, I want you to watch what's about to happen. Yeah. No, no, hold on. Before anybody say anything, <laughs> before anyone say anything, because he needs to hydrate about how he about to throw us under the bus. Go ahead, Black Go ahead. <laughs> Your brain already gone. Go ahead, he's ready. already working. Look. Remember, I tried to help Mouse and Dave. <laughs> I don't think people are getting married as, as often. Um, I think there's more access. With more access comes more choices. With more choices comes less fight, right? Less fight to make this relationship Commit. work mm -hmm. because I can go here. I don't think people are looking at the baby as the reason to stay together. Where back in the day, people were like, I stayed together for the kids. We, let's make it work for the kids. I commend the women that are leaving situations that don't serve them anymore. They are not gonna, sit here and be unhappy in front of this kid and then put this unhappiness on the kid and things of that nature? I think um, it happens naturally. You know, I think when you run around here looking for that type of thing, it doesn't work out. I think it's something that gotta happen when you're ready. You know what I mean? You, you come to a certain space in your life where you're gonna know when you meet that right person, you're gonna know this is the one I wanna spend the rest of my life with and have a family with. Because why have kids if you don't wanna have a family with that person? I don't think kids, all kids is planned. It's not like a new sneaker that's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were not in yeah, line yeah. for those. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like we said earlier, it'd be love in the air, it'd be henny in the air. It'd be, <laughs> it'd be some shit in the air that just whatever, whatever that vibe may be is not the same as you being a parent. A child could come from a f***ing club night. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, once the kid here, you ain't gonna treat it like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, you that's, 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 now you're a, you a parent, but it could have came from that do what they do and it's like, oh, sh you know what I mean? I gotta handle what I gotta handle. Like, not being a planned thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Kids come from Well, <laughs> yeah. all right. Now that should go into the school books. Yeah, yeah. Kids yeah. come from, from Yeah. yeah. Sex and that's, one the of only, that's the only <laughs> way they get it. That's the test. Where do kids come from? Yeah. <laughs> it's Dave. Jerome, he said that's Jerome got it. <laughs> Jerome, you're gonna be just fine. <laughs> And I think just recently, I'm like, okay, maybe I understand why this happens, but a couple will be good, y'all are in love. Like Dave said, it's Hennessy in the air, it's love in the air, and then, you know, and then you have a child, and then boom, the relationship is over. I see that there's a lot of postpartum that happens, obviously, with women. And I feel like a big thing that happens when a woman has a child is there's a big disconnect. Like, the woman physically, naturally, she has to be attached to that child, where we're talking about breastfeeding and all the things that the child needs. Right. But then the dad, you don't have that same connection. Do you guys think that that plays a part in the relationship disseminating? For me, it was like the first time seeing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never seen a woman give birth. You were shocked. There's photos of me in the hospital that day. It was like I seen a f***ing UFO or something. Mm -hmm. I never seen it. <laughs> right. This pussy I'm with every day. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it could do that. Shit, like, a baby? I'm like, yo. It immediately makes you rethink yeah. every right, sex right, comment right, you right, made. Right. So now I be I'm tearing that shit up, huh? Now, now, now no, you know I where babies no, come from. I, I don't. You know babies come from for real. But I, you know what I mean? But it, it really, with me, it made me respect a woman a thousand times more. You know what I'm saying? And just what which I gotta go through to even give birth. But I think once kids come into play, it ain't the same situation. It ain't you just coming home and we can just it's never the same. Like, it's impossible. It's and impossible. I, and I, I got I go in the biz, two biz, uh, six is a big girl and a little girl. Like, I can't just come in the spot butt naked. <laughs> out the shower. What's up, yeah, baby? What we doing? Yeah, like, what we doing? Yeah, you hear that roadblock? Hey, hey, hey. No, I'm hearing little, I'm hearing little feet running through the spot. <laughs> what the f? Don't move. Don't move. Well, well, I, 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 I tell you this. When, when a woman gives birth, it's a big deal. 
just to answer what you said, you know, why do some people split up after they have a child? I think that as a man, you got to understand what your woman just went through, yeah. and you really got to be patient and really roll out that red carpet, and you really got to play a whole different role. For the men, you have to understand, you can't have the same relationship with this woman because she's a different person. You got to remember, postpartum is still going on. There's some women that deal with it for two, three years yeah, yeah. after the baby, but you just try and get your you like, yeah, exactly. come on, like, I'm trying. No, literally. You gotta so be a father. You have to be. You, She's you the be, mother, now you, you just gotta, gotta be, be play your part. In, in yeah. that, and I think in being a father in a relationship, like I said, you have to interact with this new person. She is somebody mother now. You gotta calm, that, your, calm your horny down. You gotta calm it down. And I think all three down. of us are agreeing. I'm, men, glad men, that, I'm glad that you're saying men that. Men can just keep. That's what it is. Right, that's what no, it is. No, literally, yeah. We don't stop. I ain't gonna lie, I stopped. Okay, I had, you you went way further than I could go. <laughs> no, I had one, one, of, my, I had one of my friends recently. <laughs> healthy her... men can go. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you're not yeah, healthy. You said I'm not healthy. <laughs> <laughs> you should be able, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Young, healthy. You should be able to. Now, now I'm not young <laughs> either. God. <laughs> we don't have no See, breaks, though. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah like nothing's gonna See, stop and us. And women do. We don't, we don't have periods. Do. We don't yeah. have time. Nothing takes us out the game. We're just like, nah, I can't. Yeah, like, I'll say this. I'll say this. Like, Dave is taking a funny approach to it, but it's true. For instance, like I had a friend of mine recently, she had a baby and her husband, like three weeks after she had the baby, he was in a club. If you care, you have to learn to put these two people's lives and well-beings before yours. It goes back to what Papu was talking about the last time he was here, sacrifice. All this is about sacrifice. If you want to just drop the kids off, like we were talking earlier, and you want legacy, you just want to do that, yeah. cool, say that. But if you in this woman's face and you want to raise a family, two of y'all, three of y'all, four of y'all, five of y'all, you got to give up something to get this. What's going to come from this yeah. is worth way more than anything in that club. Right. So if you want these kids and you want these kids to have a mother that functions. And a dad. That for a minute, you want a mother that functions. That, that You come in the house and the kids is well taken care of and she's not in a, in a corner balled up. Yeah. You got to stay home tonight. You got to pour in, you got to give her some help. Yeah. And you got to understand that as a man, you got to understand that. And I mean, she just had a baby. You can't expect her to go to the club. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Get out the club. A lot of you is celebrating poverty anyway. <laughs> so I grew up with a stepdad because my dad was not in my life. And I remember there was one time where my stepdad was trying to help me with my homework. Now, just picture me, I'm like nine years old. I hated this man, because I was like, where is my daddy? I even called my, I'm like, my da dad, like there's a dude here trying to make me call him daddy. What you gonna do? You know what I mean? Like, I really did not You're trying to instigate the boys. I was, I was like, what you gonna do? Wow. Okay? Put the pressure so... on the right. <laughs> they called you out. Okay? Huh? My stepdad was helping me with my homework, and I was like, you're so fucking stupid. Mm. Yeah. Like, I looked him in the face and I said that. And mm. that man looked me in the eyes and he cried. Like, I had never seen, I think that was my first time seeing a grown man cry. But you as a kid. You didn't make niggas cry for a long oh, time. Yeah. That's crazy. But why you called him stupid? Crushed his whole because shit? Because I yeah. hated that he wasn't my dad. Mm. Oh. I say that story because I feel like just as a parent, sometimes there are moments where you don't get it right. right. Have you ever had a moment like with your children where it's like, maybe I am falling short a little bit as a father. Maybe I'm yeah. not. Yeah. I, can, I can speak on that. My son, my stepson, he's not my, my, my birth son, but I've been raising him. He, he be 13. That's why when y'all were saying that 13 shit, I was getting a little shit. <laughs> <laughs> you start dodging? When I met him, he was two turning three. I've been raising him since then. You know what I'm saying? It's 10 years, 11 years. And he knows his father. Mm -hmm. He's just not been in his life. You know what I'm saying? So that play on my mind sometimes. Is it going to get to a point where he like, man, where my dad at? Like, oh, mm -hmm. I know who you are, but you ain't. You know what I'm saying? So that, that, that f me. But at the same time, that's my daughter's brother. older brother. So I embrace it. You know what I'm saying? But I do have those times where it's like, is he hearing me? You know what I'm saying? It's like, is he hearing me 100% or is he just hearing what I'm, you know what I mean, for the moment? And you know what I mean? Got his own mind, but I battle with that. I definitely feel like That's that. That's very vulnerable of you to share that. I battle with that. Yeah. I, I definitely feel like that when it comes to my kids because I'm always comparing myself to the job my father did. So the man that raised me is my birth father, but he's been my father since I was six years old. He's been there. It's, he showed up. And he's also loved my mother. I've seen it my whole life since I was six years old. I've right. only known him. My dad home every day. That, that's all I know. So it's like, am I doing a good job that he did? 
I only had one grandfather, right? Like, my pops didn't know his father. But he had, like, a mentor in his life. But my mom's had both parents or whatnot. It's like this thing, like, he feels like he got to get it right because of how his upbringing was. Like, that person wasn't there, so it's like that sat on his conscience. But at the same time, this was a good mentor in his life that allowed him to mold him in a way that he felt confident about his father's structure to how he raised us. You could take good from this person that wasn't your, your blood or whatnot, right. the same way that you can from your actual biological father. And I've had conversations with him about that, like what happens with when you pass down, like how you raise a child and the characteristics you give them, he knows that they have lingering effects. Yeah. So he's being mindful of like, he's like, I see you, man. Like, like I see little bits of my characteristics in you and how you, how you portray, go out into the world when you conduct interviews or whatever. So I'm mindful of what I was taught. So what I tell you, I'm praying that you keep, you know? Right. That person's not your biological father, but they there and they, they showing up. It don't matter. It don't matter, man. They there. Like, luckily for me, bro, I feel like I, I, not to cut you off, I feel like I, I, he was so young. All he know is me. Mm -hmm. To be real, like, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, true fact, I, I think it's always room for improvement. You know what I mean? When you think you know everything, you stop learning. Yeah. So I think, like, what we're doing right now, talking to other real fathers, right. that helps. You know I mean, that shit is like therapeutic because sometimes you might think as a father, you might think you're the only one going through something. When you talk to other fathers and you see that, oh, other fathers are experiencing the same things, it helps you, you know what I mean, to move forward. So I just think bouncing off of other solid real fathers helps as well, as yeah. far as what, what you, the question you had. I love what Dave was saying, how he has his son that all he knows is you. I think for me, oh my God, oh my God, am I gonna have like, yes, you about to cry in my house. Space. I know, I'm sorry, Safe space, safe space. <laughs> I didn't have my dad and then my stepdad was horrible. So I think for me, it just, I got hit twice. Mm -hmm. So I didn't see my mom have a healthy relationship ever. I just never saw that. I never saw a good example of um, fatherhood ever. So. I think just for me as a, as a woman, I think my place in this discussion is there are some of us who we're really desperate to find a good man who's gonna be a good father. I know when, when it's my turn to be a mom, I have, I'm fighting to, to pick the right man who's gonna treat my kids very, very well because I, I can't afford for my kids to experience what I experience. Mm -hmm. I experience a lot of hurt really early. And that's why I would say those things to my stepdad, because I would see him say things or do things I didn't like. And I saw my mom go through stuff that I didn't like. Even if I never get married, but I have a, I have a child, they have to have a good dad. Mm -hmm. They have to, because I don't want them to experience the stuff that I experienced. I experienced some really bad things. Well, first and foremost, yeah. we, you know, a lot of us on here, especially you and I <laughs> come from a faith background, Christian background, you know, the Bible says a man who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor of the Lord. So you don't have to look for it. Mm -hmm. The me, he finds the good thing. So it's like, you're doing everything you're supposed to do. You're already identifying the red, the, the red flags, those blind, those blind spots, you get what I'm saying? And knowing that the kids that come from you, no matter what the relationship between you and the father is, them kids will have a father. I'm a thousand percent sure of that. Yeah. And no, I'm not gonna apologize. Yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, we gonna go jump this <laughs> right now, all right? <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> Ain't nobody cried in my house before, so yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> gotta go. I need a hug. Come here. Yeah. Uh, give me some love, Jazzy. Give me some love. Give me some. Come on. Come on. Give, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. All right. 